G'day, welcome to this app review of Navigon, a navigation app on the Android device. Keep watching as I'm going to be running over some of the different functions and features of this app, and then talking about the pros and cons I've found to using this app to help you decide if this is the navigation app for you. Keep in mind, I'm only going to be talking about the offline functionality of Navigon, so I will not be using a GPS in this review. So let's get started. Oh, so please also take note that traffic regulations take priority over the instructions of the navigation system. Please do not operate the device while driving, okay. So on the home page, you can choose a number of options to navigate. Firstly, you can enter an address. And if you have GPS turned on, you can choose to go there by foot or by car down the bottom. Or you can just choose to view your address on the map. On the map you can see the different landmarks as well as the zoom in and zoom out like most apps have. There's actually no landmarks near Abba River. Oh, there we have an airport. And also the pan that I'm using. So back on the home page now, my destination saves your recent destinations and your favorite destinations. I don't have any favorites at the moment. You can also search for POI, which stands for places of interest. This is good if you want to find a petrol station in the city where you are or even a restaurant where you want to go to tonight. Route planning can be used offline, but I do not have any routes set at the moment and I rarely use that. Take Me Home is good if you have a home address set and want to get back to your place pretty quickly. It just gives you a direction straight back to your house. Show Map is self-explanatory, it just shows a map of where you are and coordinates. Again, you can just put coordinates in to find somewhere on the map pretty self-explanatory stuff. One of the things I like about Navigon are how easy the maps are to use. The maps are fairly intu intuitive and don't require a lot of brain power to use. One of the things I don't like are how the maps sometimes take a long time to load. But this is normally pretty rare and the couple times I've had to wait for it to load it's only been a small wait anyway. Overall I would highly recommend this app for anyone who travels frequently or even infrequently as it is easy to use generally fast and gets you where you want to go. Thanks for watching.